Hello, beautiful souls. I wanted you to meet someone today. This is our little Ella. Her name is Ella Joy. And she really is a joy. <laughs> so as you can tell, I'm officially a mama. As of yesterday, she's six weeks old. And um, I guess I just wanted to pick up the camera and uh, touch base with my family all across the world because um, I really haven't made a video in a very long time and so I guess I just wanted to share um, that God is so good and um, that even having Ella here um, in our life uh, things really haven't changed all that much you know we still have this inward peace and connection and relationship with God and um, the divine as a whole and so that's where our sense of feeling settled and at rest and at peace um, comes from and I feel that it's just extended into this role of being a parent and um, probably the first week of her being here it definitely was an adjustment um, just learning about her and, and learning her in general. Um, and yet ever since, it's become really, 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 really oh. natural. And uh, even the second she popped out, it was really natural, like breastfeeding right away, all natural labor and birth, um, and just really starting to recognize how powerful um, we are as souls to create this whole experience and everything that goes along with it. Um, it's been such a blessing uh, to watch her already evolve so quickly, so fast, like she's so strong, um, you know, right now everything is catered to her physical body, um, so that's, that's a little bit of an adjustment because the way Tom and I live is just focused on um, the spirit and, and letting God take care of all of the physical, but I'm realizing that it's just a complete extension of the spirit. We will be told all we need to know including what we need to do to take care of her and so we've been given everything we could ever possibly need for her everything from you know cloth diapers you know i make my own wipes we have a complete station everything for her literally everything all of the the toys the gadgets the swings the everything um it's quite incredible and the things that we didn't even know we needed like a bassinet like show up at our door from actually one of my mom's friends came by to to just hey do you need this um i guess <laughs> you know not even knowing um but it's really cool how god is working through our brothers and sisters everywhere and it's still happening and um yes we're still ha here at my mom's and i know my last video it was kind of like i was feeling this urge to nest and want to settle um in tom and i's own place because if you've been watching my videos you know that for the last five years we've been traveling the world just flying by the seat of our pants going where god would have us be um and so i really felt this need to like nut nest and settle and finally have our own home you know but i guess that was me just still thinking about the personal yes i was pregnant yes we're having a baby but it's still thinking of myself alone i kind of forgot for a little while um uh, that this is still God's plan and first and foremost we're here to heal in our relationships and, and heal our minds and, and forgive um, as being our number one first function. And so being here with my mother, everything um, that God wills for us has been experienced and, and um, exemplified. And what I mean by that is that my relationship with my mother has absolutely blossomed. It's been beautiful being here, watching almost like her state of mind and her energy and her attitude towards life and living from when we got here to where we are now, it's completely transformed. Like, and, and our relationship together has been, yet again, cemented in our purpose that we share with God and the Holy Spirit. And we've said together in tears of acceptance, like, yes, we are here to heal together. We are here to forgive together. We are here to love together. We are here to laugh together. We are here to just you know, be our truest, authentic, happiest selves together, and um, it's it's incredible, and so now I'm realizing that um, I, I don't want anything other than to do and be where God would have me be and what he would have me do. 
um, and right now that's being with my mom. And, uh, and having Ella in the mix is so incredible because she's such a good grandma. She's such a good grandma. And she's been really, really, really helpful, especially just going through this adjustment period of what it's like to be a parent. Um, I've loved her being here and being part of this. Um, and so it's also got me to realize and experience that, um, you know, uh, uh, this whole nesting idea, right? That really it's nesting and settling back into the heart of God. And that's where I'll be at most peace. And most parents will think, okay, well, I have to have everything set up in form. Really, it's back to the whole form is illusory. What is true is who I am, and who I am is God's child. And God is where peace is. And when I accept my home as being in Him, I am at peace. So nothing else matters, and everything else will take care of itself because He has given us everything. He has literally given us everything. And so, that's just been our continued experience and I'm so grateful and it's continued to continue with her even being here and and it's been this whole recognition again that yes I'm God's child but she's God's child too so he's totally going to take care of her like he takes care of us and I don't need to worry about anything you know other than loving her and loving God and listening to God and um you know learning how to be a parent you know, it's incredible because now I'm, I've taken the role of being a mother and I accept it wholly and completely and I'm loving every second of it, loving every second of it. Um, but it's still not who I am. It's still not my identity. It still doesn't align me to um, what's actually going on here, which is God's plan and not my own. And so Ella's not coming in to A, disrupt our life in the way that it was, but she's also not here to fulfill anything in me like she's not here for me to feel more loved or feel more attention or feel like I have a purpose or anything um, she's just here to fulfill her role like I'm fulfilling my role Aww, Lauren. <laughs> such a big yawn and we're doing it we're doing it together and it's incredible and um, Tom is such an amazing dad he's still an incredible partner and um, we are working every day still on the ump and it looks like it's going to be launched according to us as we never know like tomorrow and so if you want to just keep your eyes open um, on www.iamumped.com and this universal mediation program um, that we've been working on for, for four years now um, has finally come to um, a head and so it looks like we'll be able to give this to the world as we've been bringing it forward to do and it's literally free for all non-commercial use it is a conflict resolution program to help all of us resolve conflict inwardly and prevent it and it's also for cooperation and decision making and agreements and everything that this world needs and we made this world the way that it is in all of its chaos and wars and stuff like that and so we're now bringing forward tools to um, make a completely new reality here because um, that's ultimately what we want, to bring heaven to earth, and we are co-creators with God and each other, so we all have gifts to give, we all have creations to, to create, and all of it is to contribute to the whole of, of happiness and peace um, and, and heaven on earth. Um, so to me, it's not a matter of you know dismissing this world and, and saying it's just an illusion, there's nothing going on here. Um, in fact, it's remembering what is true, and what is true is that, that I'm God's child. I have infinite power. I have perfect strength and, and peace and, and um, creative ability and if we give all of that to God to use us and, and to work through us, we literally can bring forward some massive, powerful, incredible creations that uh, can help bring this world to joy so that we can finally wake up out of the dream because, you know, we can't wake up out of the dream without fear and like it doesn't work that way, <laughs> you know, so I'm really happy to, um, are you waving? <laughs> I know, it's almost goodbye time. Um, uh, I'm really happy to finally be able to, to be giving it. So, um, yay! So I've touched base. I'm glad I've touched base. I love you all. Bless you all. And um, hopefully we'll pick up the camera again soon. But mwah, peace be to you all. I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And goodbye. Goodbye.